Belfing story from the State House. Republican leaders say the clarification of the Religious Freedom Act makes a strong statement that the rights of every person will be protected in Indiana. The new language states that the law doesn't authorize anyone to refuse services or employment on the basis of sexual orientation. It exempts churches, nonprofit religious organizations, rabbis, priests, and other faith leaders. It could point toward a change in the state's civil rights law down the road. We start our coverage with RTV6 State House reporter Katie Hines. She is live to explain for us. Katie. Todd, both the House and Senate just approved the clarification language to this law in the last 45 minutes here at the State House. But the House Speaker tells us that he doesn't have a guarantee from the governor that he will sign the Religious Freedom Act into law with this new wording approved by both chambers. He could choose to veto it, which some of the earliest supporters of this measure are now urging him to do. House Speaker Brian Bosma says he has had a lot of humbling moments in the last week. He apologized to everybody he says might have been hurt by the misperception that this law would allow for discrimination. In a press conference in front of a packed yeah. House chamber this morning, the House Speaker and Senate President announced what they believe is a fix. They're confident the new wording clarifies that the law is aimed at creating a standard for the courts in questioning dealing with religious freedom when government action is involved. The announcement comes on the heels of a full day of private meetings with the governor, fellow Republicans, corporate and civic leaders. Democrats continue to express strong concerns about the law and they continue to fight to make sexual orientation a protected class in Indiana up until the end of the debate. We're here. We're here to make it right. We're here to assure uh, those who feel that the RIFRA statute will discriminate against them that it will not be used for that purpose. The people of the state of Indiana are going to think that if we pass this, that it now is illegal throughout the entire state of Indiana to discriminate against persons based upon sexual orientation or gender identity. And And Democrats are still maintaining that position tonight. Todd. Katie, did state lawmakers consider repealing the law in light of the controversy it's created? Well, you know what? That's one thing that Democrats were proposing up until the very end of the debate, but Republicans all along pretty much said that wasn't an option. They felt that that would send the wrong message about this law. And Katie, uh, I think I know the answer to this, but what's been the mood in the State House today? I would say the mood's been serious, also emotional, Todd. You know, we saw it during the first legislative step of this process this morning, once that new wording for the law was announced, it went to a conference committee, two Republicans and two Democrats from the House and Senate. And we heard about two hours worth of emotional testimony there from both lawmakers and then members of the business, uh, the civic and other uh, members of the community here. So a lot of passion on both sides, a lot of heated debate up until the very end on this topic. And Republicans, one more note saying that they felt this was their toughest challenge yet. Todd. A lot at stake today for a lot of people. Katie Hines reporting live from the State House. Katie, thanks. This reaction now from Indianapolis Mayor Greg Ballard. For the first time in Indiana at the state level, employment and housing protections are being proposed based on sexual orientation and gender identity. This is a positive step and a more accurate representation of the Hoosier hospitality that defines Indianapolis and Indiana. And our coverage continues. The head of the NCAA is applauding the steps taken today by lawmakers. A President Mark Embert saying he's pleased that the revisions announced today call for an environment, in his words, that are inclusive and non-discriminatory. This bill is more important than a basketball tournament. You know, this is a this is a bill that establishes the uh, legal environment for people in the state of Indiana. Are we happy that it's occurred? This debate's occurring during the middle of a Final Four week. Of course not. It would have been a lot easier to have it some other debate, uh, some other debate some other day. But um, you know, we we hope they can resolve it quickly, not just because of this event, but because it's an important issue to get the law right on and to get it right fast. The NCAA has said the future of events in Indianapolis were in jeopardy under the original version of the Religious Freedom Act. All new